What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Welcome to another video. It's that time again, it's time for the fits of the week where I run through some of the best menswear fits from around the web, just in time for some weekend inspiration. And it's been a couple of weeks since we've done one of these. So we've got a bit of a backlog. There's a couple of images from the last days of pity and there's a few that I've just saved along the way. So let's just get into it. First up, we have this absolutely beautiful Czech double-breasted suit with peak lapels, that gorgeous tie, cut away collar, immaculate beard. I just absolutely love this suit. Um, so we've actually got a couple of images of this suit with this gentleman. I don't actually have the tag with his name. So if you do know it, please drop it in the comments. I just really love the suit. There's a right amount of cuff showing. Love that subtle check in there. For me, this is what pity should be about. It's just it's really beautiful dressing, really lovely suits that fit well with just subtle little things that are just make you stand out like the, the cut, the colors, the texture, the patterns, uh, and just the fit overall. And um, yeah, I love it. Perfection. So our next fit is again from Pity, and this is from Urban Composition. And it's just a portrait shot of Robert Spangle, the photographer. Uh, again, another great follow, both these guys. Um, I couldn't find a full length one, but I just really love this double-breasted suit, the denim shirt. You guys know I love a denim shirt, especially paired with tailoring. And this uh, really lovely tie to match as well. So it just plays around. It's like a knitted tie. Um, it plays around with, you know, obviously formal double-breasted suits with these the beautiful lapels and then dressing it down with both the denim shirt and then the knitted brown tie as well so yeah really love this i would love to find the full full length photo but the colors are just so pleasing and they play off each other so well together is it added the extra bit of texture as well with the knitted tie and, and then the sort of worn bit of the denim um yeah just a really great fit so our next look is matt bomer and he is wearing this kind of like teal suede shirt this kind of like western shirt um a kind of like westerny black belt some tucked into some jeans and then this kind of just overcoat um really love this that shirt is the star of the show and it's nice it's just nicely done because it's not easy to wear a suede shirt and look understated and i think it's done quite well here because the rest of the outfit is quite toned down so it doesn't look really over the top obviously is at an event you you're okay to, to go that little bit more extravagant but yeah I, I generally think i would wear this out and not feel too uncomfortable um the color is interesting as well it's close enough that you can look away and it could be like a denim shirt um and it's just interesting it's not something you'd normally see so yeah i really like this so our next look is from the get blazer uh, instagram page really great follow if you're not following him already and it's emmanuel favorin and he's wearing these kind of like oversized high-waisted pleated trousers really loose really like comfortable looking kind of like almost work wary tucked with a tucked in again another like loose flowy shirt and a brown blazer he's also paired with these chunky back boots as well so the whole thing just looks kind of effortless the glasses are a nice touch as well and of course he's got a great stash so we've got another double breasted suit look for you and this is urban composition who was the guy taking the photo of robert spangle before this is a photo of him his name's peter sotola i believe it's a immaculately dressed man and yeah i just love this suit so you've got this kind of like heavy brown wall structure to it it's got a nice bit of roping to the shoulder, but also a little bit of like a slope. So it's, we've got this really nice shape to it. So one working button, double-breasted jacket. So it's got this really nice low neckline, which just gives a different shape to what you'd normally see. It's especially with the tie and the shirt as well. It just opens the whole thing up really nicely. Nice little contrast with the pocket square and the bone buttons as well. Um, and yeah, just a beautiful suit. I absolutely love brown tailoring. And um, yeah, it's just something really interesting. The majority of the times now we're seeing a lot of soft-shouldered suits, which, you know, I'm a huge fan of. But it's nice to see something different in terms of the structure and the uh, button as well. So yeah, really nice fit. So our next look is Andre Lanyo. So that's Andre the Apple on Instagram. And I just, you can't really see too much of his fit in this, but I absolutely love this coat, this big, chunky, oversized coat with this herringbone pattern. And I believe a raglan sleeve i can see from here and this big collar but yeah i just wanted to put this in here because i really like the photo love the coat and the glasses and uh yeah it's just effortlessly cool and uh worth being in there just for that just a quick interruption guys i'd just like to ask if you enjoy the video at all or get anything from it if you could like and subscribe because it really helps me to grow the channel and reach new audiences as well let's get to the next one cabism has our next look and again it's another double breasted blazer this time with some gold buttons he's got this sort of like military green t-shirt and some really interesting like terracotta -y colored trousers um paired with some black horse paired with some i can't say if they're black or brown from here black horse but loafers um really like this it's just interesting colors really like the trousers and the green t-shirt paired with that navy it's just interesting and a little bit different to what you'd normally see like it's rare to see a pair of trousers like that he's paired it nicely with the green as well it's an outfit you see a lot with the double-breasted blazer t-shirt and trousers but with an interesting and different take on it so yeah i really like this 
Right, our penultimate look is from a Ralph Lauren event. And unfortunately, I've lost this guy's name. So again, if someone can drop it in the comments, that'd be really helpful. Um, this is, I think in Australia, so it was like summertime over there. So yeah, he's wearing this high-waisted, kind of like pleated trousers in this kind of like crew or just like off-white color. Um, a check pattern. You can't really see the pattern from, from here, but it's like a really tight check pattern uh, waistcoat. And this knitted kind of oversized blazer as well with these gold buttons on so it, it doesn't look like a button it looks more like a cardigan and um, but yeah i just really like this look he's paired as well with some trainers and i think that works nicely i mean look normally wearing a waistcoat without something underneath this it's not my thing normally but i think this fit works overall but yeah it's just something about it i really like i mean the color palette's really nice i like the looseness of it i love that blazer and it's something a little bit different without going too out there and wacky. If, you know, I always really appreciate when a guy is, you know, at an event if, and is at a like, show or something or red carpet. And they're doing something a little bit different without going too garish or over the top with like sequins or wild colours. Um, this is something a little bit different. The colour tones are really nice and um, it just works in my opinion. But yeah, let me know what you think. Okay, so our final look, we've got Robert Spangle again. He makes a second appearance in the same week and he's wearing this double-breasted suit from uh, Observer Collection. It's, it's an interesting one because it's got hidden buttons and it's got a really nice structure to it. Like those shoulders, love the size of those lapels. Uh, the, like the structure is kind of a little bit 70s. It's kind of a little bit Husband's Paris. Um, I like the pair with the tie. That's a very clean aesthetic. But it's got something a little bit different with the hidden buttons. So it's just a little detail that makes it more sort of contemporary or modern or different without going too over the top. So it's a nice subtle detail still classic still very structured in the way it, it looks but it doesn't look too high fashion and just something that will go out of style very quickly i don't think because we see a lot of those in the red carpets with double breasted suits i think it's uh dior had a few of them we've had where they're, they're like sashes and they've got wraparounds and all this kind of stuff this is just, just a nice subtle little detail to make it look a little bit different and interesting and i quite like it and it's done in the classic way so yeah, I just want to get your opinions on that. Do you think there's any room for play when it comes to tailoring? Uh, if so, do you, where does the sort of like, where is the line? Where does it become like, we're moving into the realms of fashion rather than style? Yeah, let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Also, let me know which one of this week's fits was your favorite. But yeah, thank you very much for watching, guys. Do remember to like and subscribe on the way out, and I'll see you on the next one.